Did you know there's a water taxi in Minneapolis? It will take you where you need to go along parts of the Mississippi River, and it's solar powered. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lauritsen shows us how it all got started and why the scenery is as, is as important as the service. There are many ways to take in the Minneapolis skyline. By highway and skyway are what most people know. But thanks to two riverboat captains and the summer sun, there's now another way. Right away, someone's commenting about how quiet it is, which tells me that that's positive. That's and, a compliment to you guys. Right. Greg Hoseth and Corey Parkis are the men behind the Minneapolis water taxi. They've used Greg's ingenuity to build two electric boats, one that's also powered by solar energy, to set off for calmer and quieter waters. There's no fumes. A lot of people are in wonder. I can't believe there's there's no sound. But plenty of scenery and history. Iconic green belt sign from the 1940s. Next bridge up ahead is the Third Avenue Bridge. That's the oldest still standing horse and carriage or automobile bridge in the area. Same city, different world. A versatile little fleet that's hoping for a few more stops. We have the destinations, but not the docks at the moment. There are only a handful now, but they're anticipating that as many as six more docks could be added by next summer. Until then, they're getting their feet wet and learning that folks near and far just want to go along for the ride. And the interesting thing about that is that people like it. You really get a very different perspective on the city from down on the river. Everything looks different. Dennis Reddy and Ellen Joseph are just two of the dozens of passengers that have kept the captains busy. It's beautiful. It's just a view of the city that you're not going to get elsewhere and just a sense of serenity. From the beauty of the falls to the architecture of the bridges. You can take it all in at eight miles an hour during the day or even at night. Water seems to be healing and it's good to be out here and it's a great job, fun people and it's hard to beat. That's probably one of the better jobs I've had in my life. Every day there's something new, it seems. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Corey and Greg set out from Boom Island seven days a week, and they do up to 14 trips a day. For more information about the Minneapolis Water Taxi, we have a link on our website. Just go to WCCO.com and click on the links. Know of a person or place that John should know about? Send him your Finding Minnesota ideas at WCCO.com links.